they are specialized. There are institutions specialized. For example, you know Sheikh Ahmed Hidad, the person who I was inspired from. Mashallah, he alone. May Allah grant him Jannah. Rahim Allah. He's the person who inspired me, and because of him, I changed from a doctor of the body to a doctor of the soul. He was educated six standard only, and he took the Christian dumb, all the Christian missionary single handed, Alhamdulillah. Our one Sheikh Didat was sufficient for the whole Christianity. Alhamdulillah. Unfortunately, 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 the budget that he had was very small compared to the Christian missionaries. There were institutes in Christian missionaries like Zomaz Institute. They had a full wing only doing research on Sheikh Didat. How to defeat him? How to attack him? Today, there are organizations in USA, in the Western countries, only doing research on Dr. Zakir Naik. Only saying how to attack him, how to criticize him, how to put him down. Full-fledged, only doing research. There are teams. There are many teams. The moment you get popular, you have enemies. And the more popular you get, the more enemies you have. Previously, I have to think. Dr. Zakir Naik. Uh, is probably probably the most dangerous man in the world today to Christianity because he brings hundreds of thousands of people to Islam, Mon many of them from Hinduism and also from Christianity. He brings them through just by these kind of videos that we're doing right now. He goes all over the world. He was to come here in uh, Britain last July, and uh, he was going to come. Uh, they were going to bring him down to Wembley Arena, which seats 12,000. They sold out tickets for his meeting in two hours. Now, this man is dangerous. This man is enormously popular. He knows Urdu. He knows Hebrew. He knows Greek. He knows English. He knows Arabic. He, can, he has memorized much of our Bible by heart. He uses no notes. And he tears our Bible to shreds, or he tries to. And he confronts the Christology of Jesus. He confronts the Trinity. He confronts, confronts the uh, whole, what they call the Pauline paradigm. These are amazing questions. They're great questions. They're foundational to everything we believe. And he's enticing and he's engaging hundreds of thousands of Muslims to follow his, uh, his example.